Hi, I'm Jeff Lockman, and this is the ICANN Tech Corner. So today, we're talking about the PD2-H series from PD Movie. And this is the newest iteration of the PD Movie wireless follow focus system. We call it the Remote Air 3 system. Today, I've got rigged up a PD2-H2. That means that I've got one receiver motor and one slave motor. You can see them right here. And by the way, this is a Panasonic Vericam LT camera that we borrowed from our good friends at Prime Camera. So, as you can see, I've got the motors set up on my 15 millimeter rods already. I didn't want to bore you with all of that. And they are good to go. I don't have any power run to them, and there's a good reason for that. So now I'm going to plug them in. There we are. So we're going to start by turning the motors on. And you still do that by holding down the button on the bottom of the motor. I get my slave motor and then my receiver motor. There we go. You can see we've got our, our new readout right there. It's an OLED display. And then the slave motor doesn't have a display. So now that they're on, what we're going to do is rotate the lens in between each of its hard stops. Now if you don't have a hard stop, you just stop rotating the lens where your lens stops being effective. In this case, I do have hard stops, so let's map those real fast. There's one. There's two, and I'll try to rotate it, and it'll take care of itself. So now that part of the lens is mapped. Let me get the second bit. There we are. And now we're good to go. So the next thing that I'm going to do is check the frequency that my receiver motor is set to. It's set to channel 15. So I'll make sure that my new controller is also set to channel 15, which it is, which means that I now have control of my lens. Now you saw it move really fast there for a second. There's a reason for that. Whenever I calibrated the motor, it kind of set itself to a default position. Whenever I started moving the hand controller, it registered to the point of the hand controller and moved immediately to that spot. So even though the lens had already reset itself, whenever I started moving the hand controller, it realized, oh, hey, I'm in the wrong place, and immediately moved to where it was supposed to be. And you can see, now whenever I move the hand controller, I'm moving the lens as well. Now, on the lens and the hand controller, there are 7,200 different points that register where the controller and the motor are. That is an awful lot. That is approximately one point for every 20th of a degree that the lens rotates. Of course, that's slightly different depending on what lens you're using, but it's a, a, a pretty impressive number. And there we go. I've got my slave motor set to the green channel. The green channel on my controller is over here. The new PD2-H controller, the Remote Air 3 controller, has the ability to control three motors at once built into the controller. So you don't have to have a special controller if you're controlling two or three motors. It can all be done with the same thing. So my green frequency, my green channel is right there, and I can move that switch. The motor sets itself to where it needs to be. And now I have control over that as well. Now, these are the same motors that were used in the original PD3 system, but their firmware has been updated to give them more speed and more torque. If you have an older motor that doesn't calibrate like I just showed you, get in touch with our support department at support at iCanCorp.com, and they can help you make arrangements to send your motors in. We will update the firmware, and then they'll be able to, to move as quickly, as strongly, and you'll be able to calibrate them the same way that I just showed you. And that's true for the receiver motors and for the slave motors. Another good thing about the PD2-H system, the Remote Air 3 system, is that you can control it both with the candy bar controller and with the phone app. And I'm going to bring that up right now. So this is the PD Movie app for the iPhone. You can also get it onto an iPod Touch if you need to. Now these motors have a built-in Bluetooth module. So now that the app is on and the motors are on, I can control them 
With the zoom, I can control it either with this little toggle right here or just by scrolling up and down there. If I wanted to, I could even make marks. And it's the same with the focus. You don't have the same toggle as the zoom, but you can set your A and B stops if you want to pre-program a hard stop, or in this case, a soft stop. But there we are. You'll definitely want to set this up before you start shooting because whenever you switch from the app to the controller, the lens and the motors have to recalibrate themselves to the point that you're set at on the app. To switch back over to the candy bar controller, all I have to do is close the PD Movie app, and then move my controller again. And there you go. And that's about it for the Remote Air 3 system from PD Movie. Now again, these motors are the same motors that you'll find in your PDL-F, PDL-FZ. PD3, PD1-N, and PD2-N systems. And if you need them updated, once again, please get in touch with our support department. If you have any more specific questions about the torque of the motors, the capacity of the battery and the controller, anything like that, please visit our website, www.icancorp.com, and you'll find more information in the specs tab. Thanks for watching.